It is a call to action to stop the gun violence against youth. Today, more than 47,000 Clayton County students will take a pledge against gun violence. The idea that the kids can really lead the change here. It's part of the day of national concern where children across the country address the issue. It comes as one Jonesboro mother makes a desperate plea for answers in the killing of her 16 year old son. He was gunned down along with a 19 year old. 11 Live's Ariana Manise joining us from outside the Clayton County Police Department. Department. Ariana, what is his mother's message? You never think about burying your child or even their friends attending a funeral for their friends. Yeah, that's right. Good morning. Today's national day of concern about young people and gun violence comes at a time where we're seeing more teens and young children become the victims of gun crimes all across Metro Atlanta. And that latest victim, as you mentioned, is Shakia Shaw's 16 year old son, Robert Shaw. Last Monday, he was shot and killed at Riverwood townhouses on Flint River Road in Jernsboro. Shakia tells us that she was at work when she got that call from Clayton County Police that her son and another 19 year old have been shot. While Clayton County Police are working to arrest someone for her son's killing, Shakia, she is making an urgent plea to the person responsible. Take a listen. I know who you are. I just want you to come forward. I know, I know exactly who you are. I'm hurting. Y'all took my son away from me, and I want justice for my son. Meanwhile, today's National Day of Concern is being led by the Georgia chapter of Black Mothers United. All of these mothers have tragically lost their children to gun violence. They're now working together to heal and strengthen their community to ensure that no other family has to endure the pain that they went through. Back to you. Turning that heartbreak into purpose, Ariana, thank you.